You actually have another movie that is hitting some festivals. It's opening in New York, I think in April or May. Um, and it's actually, so you've made a couple movies before. You made uh, The Muslims Are Coming. You made Nerd, Nerdcore Rising, which are both like comedic documentaries. But this is actually a, a rom-com, Third Street yeah. Blackout, <laughs> uh, which I, I can't wait to see it. Um, so uh, tell us about, about the, the new film. Um, well, thank you for bringing it up. Mm -hmm. it, uh, yeah, it's called Third Street Blackout, and it's a romantic comedy set in the blackout after Hurricane Sandy here in New York. Um, you know, and it's got some really funny people, like Ed Weeks from The Mindy Project, Janine Garofalo is in it, John Hodgman is in it, um, my face um, appears in it as well a <laughs> lot. Uh, and it's, um, and I think what's interesting, you know, one of the things I wanted to do following the Muslims are coming and, and it's funny because after every time I make a movie, like I made Nerdcore Rising was about nerds who rap and people would be like, oh, you're like, you're like a one hit nerd wonder. You're a nerd. <laughs> like that's what you do. You And I like, I, mean, I don't play video games. So, like I don't know anything about tech. I just happen to make a movie about people that do. Right. And, and so I was sort of pigeonholed in that direction. Then I make the Muslims are coming and then they're like, oh, all you do is like this, you know, ethnic Muslim stuff and <laughs> so I was like I just want to make something that people would not expect you know of all of the pigeonholing claims that I get you know I want to just make a movie and see what happens and um, and this is a rom-com and it does star an Iranian American Muslim female and she is you know she might mention her ethnicity or her, her religion but it's not about that it's really about being in Manhattan during that blackout that lasted five days and it was really remarkable and for for, for these, these kind of wondrous five days everyone in Manhattan below 40th Street actually met their neighbors uh, for the first time um, actually kind of in interacted and integrated themselves with the fabric of their neighborhoods and I think that's something that we've kind of lost there's a and that's what you know one of the things we really wanted to, to bring about with this movie is like do we need a blackout where everyone's phone doesn't work for us to actually talk to each other? Yeah. <laughs> I would like to live in a world in which we don't. And I actually think that if we did live in a world in which we don't, if we did live in a world in which we interact, um, fringe ideologies and fringe identities would kind of start to dissipate. You know, once you actually start meeting your neighbors, and you, again, like it's hard to hate them, it's hard to formulate opinions about them, and you socialize in a way that it's hard for you to start developing and crazy ideas. And so I think there's a lot to be said for just the idea of building social capital and for neighbors meeting neighbors. Um, that said, it's a comedy. So mm -hmm. it's really just fun. Uh, and it's fun and it's about love. Uh, and so it, it is opening in New York City on April 29th. Um, and then it'll it'll open in select markets. And uh, your, your hometown, Boston, might be one of them uh, throughout May. Ooh, excellent. Well, uh, if you come up for a screening, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hang and stuff. It'll be fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm.